I'm Bob, and I collect stamps. Hello. This is Bob Collects Stamps. I'm Bob. This week, I don't know where I'll be next week. I don't know who I'll be next week. I don't know what I'll I don't know anything. All right. So, let me give you some information about what my collection is doing lately. Uh, I had two of these gallon bags stuffed full of stamps. I had about Oh, it's maybe 10,000 stamps, a couple of mixes, all off paper. And these stamps I have gone through. This is all that's left, about half a, half a bag. Um, I'm happy with that. I have sorted the rest through a first pass, just a first pass. Obviously, I wasn't set up to do a video just now, but I'm doing one anyway. So I did a first pass of sorting, and this is the result. This is the stamps from the two bags put into a bunch of little bags. Uh, these are sorted alphabetically by country. So Azerbaijan, Australia, and whatever uh, are all in this bag, for instance. This is the a bag better be the a bag <laughs> uh, and then these are in alphabetical order but you see there are a lot of stamps in here from a lot of different places so what i'll have to do now is or once i'm done with this bag what i will do then is sort these by country and then be able to put them into my stock books and if you've been watching these, you know that I don't get rid of stamps. So I'm, I'm, I, and I like duplicates. I don't care if you give me a thousand duplicates. I, I like them. Um, I'm just weird that way. <laughs> I'm a stamp collector. This is Bob collecting stamps. I'm, I'm not a distributor. I'm not a reseller. Um, I do don't buy from just anybody. Um, I buy through channels. So. Uh, I've had several people contact me lately wanting to sell stamps. Fine, if you've got an eBay store, got a hip stamp store, I might buy some stamps from you. But if you just want a one on one, I don't do that. Um, number of reasons why. Also, um, and I'm less, and actually, I'm less likely to buy from you, even if you have one of those stores, if you contact me directly. Don't ask me why it's a creepy thing with me. It's just a preference. Um, the other thing I've, I'm contacted with, and I'm sure all the people who do YouTube and blogs and, and podcasts are contacted with these things. The other one is to appraise your collection, to give you some idea of the value, tell you where to send it, uh, how to sell it. I don't know. Uh, I got a letter from Mystic Stamp Company the other day with whom I do business occasionally. And uh, they want to buy my collection when I die. So, or when I'm done with it. Um, I think every Mystic, everybody on Mystic's mailing list got one of those. Um, maybe I'll sell it there. Mystic Stamp Company buys stamps. A lot of stamp dealers buy stamps. If you want to sell stamps, a collection of stamps, take it to a stamp dealer. If there's not one in your town, contact Mystic or contact somebody like that Kenmore, uh, one of the one of the large companies, and maybe they'll buy it for you. Be aware, you're not going to get, not going to get catalog value for it. Catalog value has a minimum value. Scott's, I believe, is now 25 cents per stamp. This stamp is not worth 25 cents. It is a Soviet stamp, a CTO, canceled to order. They had these in big sheets and they ran the cancellation over it. They sold them by the millions to get money 
they probably earn less than a penny per stamp uh, to get hard cash during the Soviet Union, and many other countries did and do that today. But it's not worth, it's maybe worth a penny on the retail market, maybe. And you're, as a wholesaler, because what you're doing is wholesaling your stamps, is selling it below the retail value. So your collection is not worth to you nearly as much as it is in the catalog listed. So you can use, I use uh, software to catalog my stamps. Uh, it tells me I have a huge value in my stamps. No, I don't. I can't sell my stamps for anything or really like that value because it has a minimum catalog value. It uses Scott catalog values and it says 25 cents for this thing that I can't get half a penny for if I were to try and sell it. Now, if I were to go on Hipstamp or eBay or one of the other, those are the two I use mostly, mostly go on one of those and list this then I might be able to get a nickel for it. But not, but that's what, it, you know, that's the minimum you can charge, I think. And it's gonna cost you something out of that nickel. You're not, I'm not gonna get a nickel for it. I get maybe three cents, maybe four. I'm not sure what their price range is since I don't sell stamps. But, uh, You'll pay, and you'll pay shipping or have, you know, you want this from me? Send me three dollars. If you want, here's this, here's the stamp. If you want that from me, send me three dollars and tell me you want the stamp and give me your address. I'll pay the 50 cents, 60 cents for, for postage, um, out of that three dollars once I get it. And, uh, I won't tell you what it is. It's a CTO. It's still got glue on the back. It's a little bit folded, so it has faults. Um, fold around the corners. The corners are not perfect. 1972 picture of somebody, and I'm not sure it's a Soviet stamp. I'm uh, looking at it. it. Might be. I don't know. It's Soviet block and Cyrillic letters. Um, might even be a label on it. Oh, CT3 is the value, uh, face value. Um, I haven't looked it up. It just came out of the, the bag here. You want to you you buy it for $3? Send me $3. Um, I'll include postage in an envelope in that. Uh, U.S. postage only. I'm not paying international on that out of $3. All right, so... What am I doing? In addition to selling stamps, and, oh, valuing stamps, valuing stamps. That was the other thing uh, I mentioned. I can't value stamps. I work with two museums, both of which have collect stamps in their collections. Not as their main thing, but they both have stamps in their collections. One of them when I'm the director of, the other one I'm a, uh, a volunteer at, and I do all sorts of things. I can't value stamps. Ethically, museum ethics says I cannot value stamps as a museum employee. Now, yeah. or volunteer. So, you'll have to go someplace else. Also, I don't know anything about valuation of stamps. Stamps are cool. When I buy something, I decide whether, I don't care what the catalog value is necessarily, I pay for a stamp what I think I can afford for that stamp. How bad do I want that stamp? I got, you know, I got some good stamps. I paid a premium price for them. For me, I, you know, this is more my speed, but I've got a few good stamps. U.S. number one, Penny Black, that sort of thing. Um, and I paid what I could afford and what I could 
see myself paying and see that it was worth it to me to pay that much. And just as a check on that, I use my debit card for buying stamps. I never use a credit card, so um, uh, I don't. I don't get. I, I don't go too wild. Um, also, yeah, and I just don't know. You know, I say the catalog, minimum catalog value is twenty five cents. I could value it. Do you want me to value? And then you have to decide when you want someone to value it. Just like on Antiques Roadshow, do you want to value it for insurance purposes? That's going to be catalog or above prices because that's the, the retail cost of replacing your collection. If you're going to insure it, you need to insure it high enough that you can, you can replace it. You're going to value it for resale, for sell, then you're, you're talking about pennies per thousand stamps and okay maybe ten dollars per thousand stamps that's a completely different number that's wholesale number um, if you're valuing it for bragging rights not you're not going to insure it you just want to know what you've spent um, that's a third number altogether so how, what you value your stamps at my stamp collection is priceless because I won't put a price on it. Someday, if I lose my sight or I die or something like that, I may send it to Miskit, Mystic or Kenmore or somebody else, uh, somehow I'll put it on the market and somebody is gonna pay me very little for it because I don't have an expensive collection. Those two I mentioned, and that's about it. Um, I have a few stamps that are worth maybe $25, but, you know, it's not a lot. Um, I have filmed two other videos since the last one, and I have had technical issues with both of them. I apologize for that. My phone, which I'm filming this on, won't talk some for some reason with my PC every time. And... I have one video stuck in limbo right now. My P my phone says I have it on the phone. The PC says it doesn't see it. And so I can't download it. I can't move it from the, uh, you know. <sighs> the hazards of being a video logger, video blogger, vlogger, whatever you want to call me. Even if it's one of those four letter words. And collect what you want. Don't worry about any rules. There are no rules except have fun. Take care of yourself. Take care of your stamps. Mm -hmm.